Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be restoring and repairing this PlayArt custom van. So I think these were produced around 1970. PlayArt was a company based in Hong Kong from 1965 till 1983. And they produced die-cast toy cars. I think they used to use a lot of old molds from other companies like Tomica and Yakming. So this little van is definitely in a pretty rough state. It's totally missing the grill there. Looks like it's been squashed or trodden on. The windscreen is smashed. Looks like somebody's tried to paint it black or red at some point. See there's paint all over the wheels there as well. It's also missing the back bumper. Probably one of the rougher little die casts I've restored. So I'll start out taking it apart. The posts are outies. I have to make some little dents in them with my rotary tool to use as a guide for my drill. Once I've got my little guide marks done, I can drill out the two posts. And then the base comes off. Give it a little wiggle there. There we go. That's looking pretty grubby. The broken remnants of the grill there. The interior. And I'll just use this tool here to pop out that smashed windscreen section. And here is our casting ready for paint stripper. You can see inside it there the original color I think was sort of metallic blue. Here it is after paint stripping. A few scraps of paint left on there and quite a bit of oxidation. So I'll clean that up. Use the wire brush on my Dremel. Here it is after a good clean up. The next step will be to repair the bent roof and pillar. Use a combination of this piece of wood and my pliers. really careful and I managed to not break that front pillar so that's a bonus it saves me quite a bit of work And once I had it straightened out fairly well, I used some thick Starbond super glue to filler it and build it up. I actually thought I'd filmed myself applying that, but I managed to miss it. Anyway, once this had cured, I gave it a clean up with a needle file. Spent a bit of time putting the door frame line back in. And then I smooth it all off at the end with a little bit of sandpaper. And this was how it came out. I'm pretty happy with that.
the next step was to fill the two holes in the roof there. So I mix up some epoxy putty. I put a little bit of tape underneath the holes to stop the putty going through too much. And then I fill the holes up with the epoxy putty. And then this was left to fully cure. Then I sanded it back down. Started out getting rid of the bulk with a sanding drum on my Dremel and then I moved on to a needle file and then some sandpaper. So next I'm going to need a new grill for my van and I've got the spare base from a Ford Bronco, it's a Hot Wheels, Oop, it's upside down, there we go, 85 Ford Bronco and you can see that that fits in there quite nicely. Use a cutting disc on my Dremel to cut the grill off the front of the base. There we go, that's cut off. Now I'll just test fit it to see what I need to do to make it fit better. I'll use the drum sander just to tidy up the back of the grill section there where I cut it off. And next I had to cut some off of this front post here and trim a little bit out of the inside of the sides of the van so that I could fit the grill section in nicely. Once I had the grill fitting well, I moved on to the base. First thing I'll do is pop out these old grotty wheels. I'm going to be replacing them. I gave it going over with the wire brush. And now I'm going to cut off the front section here with my cutting disc. And after I'd made that little adjustment to the base, it fits in well with the new grill and front bumper section there.
I'm going to have to make a replacement windscreen for my van so I stick on a piece of masking tape here and use a pencil to mark out the shape of the windscreen then I can peel this off and I'll stick it onto a piece of clear plastic There we go, and then I can cut out my windscreen and a little bit of adjustment and I get it so that it fits in there nicely. Then I can put this away for later on. And so here is our van body after a little bit more sanding and a good clean up. Now it's ready for the first little bit of paint. Just going to put a bit of grey primer over the top there to make sure my repairs don't look too bad. So here's the interior. Give that a bit of a wash in some soapy water. And then I use it to put the van together again and then I can see how I need to make my replacement rear bumper there we go I've made that out of a little bit of styrene so with that done I can move on with some more painting I hit the van with an undercoat of black primer and then after a bit of thinking I've decided to try some more of my Vallejo Shifters color change paints. And so I painted it with a gold and pale blue and then violet and old copper on the sides. My apologies that the lighting isn't so great as my usual strip light that I use broke a few days ago so I'm using the smaller ones at the moment. Anyway, moving on to the grill. I was given the black undercoat and then I painted it in the silver. I've just detailed the indicators there, put a light black wash on the grill. And the rear bumper I painted in the silver as well, using Vallejo metal color silver. Here's the interior, it was given a nice fresh coat of black paint and then I detailed it a little bit. Just the seats in red there and some silver trim around the dash. And finally these grotty old wheels, they look terrible, all covered in red paint. I'll be getting rid of them and I've got some nice aftermarket alloy wheels to replace them with. So that's most of the hard work done and here are all the parts of our little play art custom van refurbished, repainted and ready to go back together. So I used Starbond super glue to put it back together and I also used a little bit of crystal clear to hold the windscreens in place. So just before we take a look at the finished van, let's take a moment to look back and be reminded of what we started with. Here it is, our trash looking old play art van from the early 70s. It's been squashed, smashed, poorly repainted and God knows what else. Can we make it look okay again? Let's see. And here it is, our finished, repaired, restored and customized play art custom van. It's been pulled apart and stripped down, had all its dings taken out of it. It's been repainted and detailed. The missing parts, broken windscreen, the grill and the rear bumper replaced and a nice new set of aftermarket wheels to pull it all together i think it's been a great turnaround for what was a pretty rough looking van that we began with 
Let me know what you think in the comments down below. A big shout out to my awesome Patreon supporters. Thanks heaps for supporting the channel, especially through these hard times. I really appreciate it. Anyone else who'd like to help out of it, you can check out my Patreon page. There's a link in the description below. Thanks heaps to everyone for supporting the channel, the comments and likes, etc. Thanks heaps for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you'd like to see more similar stuff, remember to subscribe and click the bell. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.